Hi guys, so I picked up this PRS the other day. It's a Swamp Ash something or other. There's a few anomalies with it, which I want to check out. Um, a few repairs been done on it over the years. So I'm going to take it apart, try and revert as much of it back to original and see what's what. So I got it home the other day. I have, that is the wood grain by the way, not a reflection. Looks quite nice, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, I got it home the other day. Uh, I cleaned it up, set it up tested everything and works, lent it to a buddy of mine who is interested in a PRS, possibly buying a PRS, I lent it to him, he says it all plays great, but he would say that I guess, um, yeah I'm going to go over it, see if there's any faults with it, um, so straight away we can see the pickups aren't original, I've been told they're Dimarzios, we will find out, and there is a repair, so whether you can see there's a definite stripe all the way down the neck, that whole section of the fretboard has been replaced. And the neck itself, usually on these models, are natural. So this has been painted. There's obviously been a break somewhere. Whether we've had a full headstock, a headstock break, or even a mid-neck break, um, and that bit of the fingerboard, fingerboard was unusable. Why they didn't replace the whole fingerboard, I don't know. Um, yeah, and the whole thing's been painted, the logo's been put back on. We'll go over all of that in more detail. Tuners have been changed. There's that ding there which could uh, shed some light onto the brake. But we will have a little look. I mean, I'm, in, I'm under no, uh, I'm under no doubt that it's original. You know, these are too good to be fakes. They're not Chinese fakes, that's for sure. And that's all original. One thing that does confuse me is this a Swamp Ash special. Some have that wouldn't, or well, it only have two knobs, that would be a free way, and it would be a push pull, or then the later ones do away with that for the toggle. This has both. It's not aftermarket because the PRS have these put in a divot. This could be aftermarket, but then it looks like it's finished inside. So we'll have a look, we'll have a good look see. But yeah, original case, uh, got the, got most of the paperwork. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't trashed in its life. It, you know, it obviously met an unfortunate accident and then was professionally repaired. That join is pretty damn good. There's a bit there, but again, it's a 21 year old guitar. It's obviously different color rosewood. Um, I'm assuming it must have been refretted at the same time. Another thing that signals it definite as a PRS and not a fake. I mean, you know, I guess you'd be too much trouble just to change the strap buttons. You know, they're PRS strap buttons. That's a PRS bridge. I think this is about my sixth PRS I've had. Also, this letter, which is the only this bit. How authentic that is! It looks fairly authentic. Eleventh of August, almost my birthday. Swamp Ash Special, serial number, part of our booth display at the Summer Nam show on those dates with Larry Uri, National Sales, whoever he is. I guess you could fake it. I've tried searching for uh, the year 2000 Nam show PRS booth. There's not a lot that comes up. But anyway, let's take a few bits apart and see what goes on. So I've taken um, the pickup uh, shells off and a few other bits. So these are definitely DiMarzio, the DiMarzio Evolution in the green. Who, whoever put green pickups on a red guitar needs their head checked. I can't even see colours and it still looks crap, but hey ho. Um, I was under the impression this was a Seymour Duncan. Um, but the PRS make all their own pickups. Maybe when this is made, maybe they didn't. Maybe it's a dunk, but there's no markings on it that I can see. I'll, uh, but it looks like all the other ones I've seen. Um, yes, yeah, so you can see the neck join. Now the screws are coming through here. I've actually seen that happen on a couple. I've had a few CE22s where that's happened. So they're obviously the neck bolt screws. And it shows a bit more light on this repair. It seems that this is a whole new section. So it's almost like the, the neck... I can't have made the neck wider, but you know what? So there was obviously a, some damage, or, or whoever did the job saw fit to replace what I'm assuming is 
all of this, I don't know how much of this section, I guess we will never know how much of that section is replaced, but you can see that and that is different wood. Maybe completely different, is that mahogany on maple? Huh, for the tone freaks, it's for tone. It's a unique sustain and sloppiness, I don't know, whatever you want, <laughs> whatever you want to say. Yes, yeah, so you can see that. But yeah, it's a very, it's a decent job. It's a tidy job. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so definitely that, I, I would assume, I don't know how deep in that goes. For all we know, it goes the whole length up the neck. Even up to here, that could be an added on wing. Who knows? Because it's under a finish, you'll never know. That's obviously why the neck's been repainted. Um... <clears throat> There is a tiny little mark on the other side where you can almost see that. You won't be able to see it on here. Uh, this one's a demise. Right, now this is interesting. Yeah, you can read it. I've wiped it away. So in there, let me see if I can get that light out. Vintage Cherry Swamp Ash Special. I don't know what that says. Nam, no mod. So this was definitely a Nam show, but no mod. Unless, it, no, he couldn't put no mod and NO stand in for something. No, could mean that would be nuts. Let's use the let's use the suffix no to mean that we've done a mod. That would be bonkers. <clears throat> but yeah, so it seems that letter it's definitely a Nam show. I don't know what that says. I'll have a. I can't read it properly through the camera. I'll have another proper look. KD is obviously the dude who checked it. There's something written in this one. No idea what that means. AO. And and there'd usually be a serial number. There'd be a barcode on that. Obviously, when it was removed to do the repair, it wasn't put back, which is fair enough. Maybe we'll find it. That looks actually like there's something. That's the back of the neck plate. I can see from this. Have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, so they're genuine Dimazios. Now these, they look like new pots. They look very shiny and new. But we'll have a look at those in a sec. So yeah, the puzzle is uh, starting to unpiece. Okay, so I've taken the screws off the plates. Plates off, original plates. Looking inside, nice big solid trim block. Not a lot going on in there. God, a big jumble of wires. <laughs> wow. So those Dimasio pickups will um, come with nice long cables that you can fit them on anything. Condition on the back is all good. PRS neck plate. Uh, well, triple check that that matches up to the. Um, the cereal on the thingy. I mean, that's pretty hard to fake. So there, then you can see, just about see, that is literally, that's a, a line in the where the lacquer is, you know, the paint is obviously sunk into one wood better than the other. You can feel it on your finger there. And my buddy was telling me when he was playing, he could feel a little bit of lacquer. I can't remember what he said. There was something that he might have been that, you know. Oh, I'll double check what he said. But yeah, all, uh, all measuring up nicely there, I think. And then we'll have a look. We'll take the neck off. So, screws are out. One, two, nearly three, four. PRS screws, two different lengths, are they? I believe. Long ones and short ones. Neck plate off. Pretty tidy. Right, let's shimmy this off. I'll flip that back round. I think that bit of paper was just a shim, which again is fairly normal on a bolt on neck. Let's have a look. Yep, just a shim. Nothing okay, fairly standard. So again, there's no way of knowing what exactly has happened to this. The truss rod I made adjustments to already and I know it moves. Don't know how long this repair was done, but it's been done. That to me looks pretty good. Um, you know. 
You do wonder why it could maybe getting a new neck was not possible. I don't know. I guess not. Uh, tuners. These are what we got. They call phase three tuners. PRS tuners. Logo has obviously been reapplied. Reapplied pretty well. Let's put it the right way up. I think I haven't had a super look at it. I guess it's pretty hard. It's not quite a water slide, is it? It's. I can imagine it's one of those things where PRS will probably charge you 50 quid for the logo. And if you wanted a new neck, it's probably going to be like 500 quid. But that repair is not going to be cheap. That's not a cheap repair, man. So I'm guessing there was some damage to this side. And maybe they just went, well, let's cut our losses and cut this hole. You know, cut this bit out and fit a new, you know, billet a new bit to it. Glue a new bit on. And then, uh, okay, but yeah, you can definitely see it there. But it's very well done. It's one of those things, isn't it? You can say, oh, I don't want something that's been repaired. It's been repaired damn well. And the repair, headstock repairs, if they're done well, the glue is stronger than the wood that replaces it. So, if it's done well, if it's done badly, or if it's clean, you know, if it's a clean enough break. So, yeah, that all looks pretty cool to me. I'm happy with that. So, uh, a few things. So, taking the tuners off, one thing. PRS branded Goto. So, they are genuine, um, well, or all the Chinese have made fakes with that one as well. You never know. And the nut has come off the guitar. Well, I've taken the nut off. Excuse me. And we can see a bit more. So, there we can see... Repair. And if you look really carefully, you can see so it almost like it follows the line of that arc there. Which comes off. So I would say he's put everything you can see on the fingerboard below is new. new neck. You cannot feel that at all. At all. Very, very good repair job. How do I know? I'm a trained violin maker. I know. <laughs> That's all I need to say. Yeah, you know, there's marks here. It's not a new guitar. Remember that. It's 20 odd years old. It's had some work done. So the nut, yeah, the nut will go back on there. Yeah, all good. Pickups will come out and then I'll kind of get it rebuilt a little bit. 